Hey what's good y'all this is Arjun and welcome back to my channel. Today we will see how to set up Understrap which is a bootstrap based WordPress theme framework and how can you use that to start building your own theme. Now I know that this is not something basic, you're gonna need a little bit of expertise in order to start building your own WordPress theme. But we will be just discussing about the installation process today and in upcoming videos we will be discussing about the other things like developing our own theme. And speaking of on the strap, it is based on bootstrap which means it's gonna work on your desktop, laptop as well as the mobile devices without any problem. So without further ado, let's get into it. First off, fire up your browser and search for Understrap. Click on the very first result and you can download the latest version right away. Actually, a detailed documentation is available here, so if you get stuck somewhere, you can always refer to this guide and what I'm going to show to you guys is pretty much the same. So for some reason, if you can access my videos, then uh, you might want to keep a copy of this or print it or you know just have it with you so that you can always refer to it even if you are offline. Now after you have downloaded your copy of Understrap, the next thing you need to do is upload it to your WordPress theme directory. For this you need to log into your WordPress dashboard using your username and password. Then navigate to the theme section and click add new then upload your zip file and if you have uploaded successfully then you will see a message like this now click activate to activate your theme now that you have your basic on the strap theme applied to your wordpress website and now you might want to tweak it so before you do that uh, learn css and sass if you know it we're cool but if you don't know it <laughs> Just kidding. If you don't know it, then I definitely recommend you to uh, learn it. A lot of resources available online and you can watch videos on YouTube and learn it. Then come back and start tweaking your theme. Otherwise, you might get stuck. Now, let's see how to uh, set up on the strap. Before you do that, you need to install the dependencies. So to do that, you have to uh, type in terminal in the spotlight and it will load up the terminal and navigate to the menu where you have installed uh, on the strap. In my case, hdocs, wp, wp content, themes, and on the strap. So on the strap and drag it to the terminal and it will give you the path. Now hit return and type in npm space install. You can find all these commands in the documentation that I mentioned earlier. It will start the installation and it will gonna take a while because it's around 130 MB or something like that. So it's gonna take a little time. Once your installation is successfully completed, you will see a folder called Node folder in your understrap directory like this. So if you are seeing this, you have successfully installed Node and all the dependencies needed to uh, work with the understrap. Now that we have everything ready, now we're going to work with the SAS here. I'm just going to show you uh, how to uh, change something that comes with uh, the default understrap using SAS. So uh, open any text editor. Here I'm using Sublime Text. Any text editor is fine and add a project folder you have to navigate to HD docs and then select uh, your WordPress folder WP content themes on the strap then select SAS and click open so you will see a directory like this and inside theme folder there is a underscore theme SESS this is where we uh, define our custom style so let's define something here uh, body background um, background red to plus for zero and let's set it as important now let's see if this change is applied to our website let me refresh this no the change is not applied it is because we haven't compiled our SAS file to do that we need you to go to the terminal and navigate to the folder where you have installed the understrap 
but this time you have to uh, navigate to the sas folder inside the undescribed directory so uh, wp content and themes on the strap and inside you can see a folder called sas now drag that right into the terminal okay now hit return and you have successfully entered to the sas folder now type in the following command sudo gulp watch and if you are seeing something like this enter your administrator password and yeah once you get this it means that uh, it is watching for the changes now let's save it again and let's go to our browser and refresh boom the changes have been successfully applied this way you can uh, perform as many tweaks as you want and I'm gonna show you something that I did for a client of mine and this is something that I did with WordPress under and under strap and I have made a lot of customization here I've had it loader and you know, using paste JavaScript and you can see here down, down here that uh, yes theme under strap by understrap.com I haven't changed that yet it's currently under construction so but I, this is just an example you can build any way you want you know with SAS and understrap you have the power to uh, edit whatever you want this is just a responsive view of my website so um, that's it for today and thank you very much guys for making it to the end of the video if you like this share it with your friends and let them know about my channel and do subscribe because I'm very low on subscribers so if you subscribe it will act as a motivation for me to uh, upload more videos to you guys so please do that and don't forget to press the bell icon when you subscribe and thank you very much have a great day I'll see you guys in my next video.